Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. We're playing Sugar Ray Leonard in Undisputed. Running through full matches and playing through the full games. So, let's get right into it. The crowd cannot All right. wait to witness Here this we one. We're live at the CompuBox Academy. Alongside me, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Sugar Ray Robinson. It's action, it's action night. Here we and go. now it's time for the tale speed of the tape. Speed versus Sugar Ray Robinson weighed in at an even 147 pounds. Should He's be a good five match. foot 11 inches tall, and he'll be going up against Sugar Ray Leonard. Five we can foot get to nine. the match. Sugar Ray there Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. Guess we're gonna do the whole walkout. Let's see it. Sugar Ray. Let's just get to the match. Man. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red. This game does have pretty good walkout, so. From New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the that world. That is a crazy a record for Sugar Ray Robinson. Champion of the world, Sugar Ray. But can he beat Sugar Ray Leonard? Let's see. Legend of boxing, a five division champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray. What a pleasure to be in this unique. In All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get this match underway. Win. When I'm playing Sugar Ray Leonard, I like to go loose movement. He misses with that jab. Like to use my block too. My angles. Like setting up those angles. Both men step back for just a moment. Oh, big hook. These two have been going at it on social media, and now finally they're about to go at it in the ring. God, listen to them, listen to them. You can, this guy's fighting kind of aggressive for playing Sugar Ray Robinson. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm showing you here. I'm sorry. Ooh. A little defense. Like to see more jabs. Counter punching. Let's see if I can get that body work going. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Another scoring shot there. Oh, big job. That one lands. Trying to get him to come to me. A counter so I can make him miss. A lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back. To you want to use your counters, your Sugar Ray Leonard. You've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them. Because Sugar Ray Leonard has a very strong counter. Long, rush them. Nice job landing with that you want to use your counter. defense so you don't just want to very competitive like fight off your back foot because if you stand if you stand your ground with your own defense you can set up your own uh counters it's a good little round close round let's see here we go i'm keeping a lot of stamina though Just misses with that jab. Ooh, a little stand and bang. When I get back out with my stamina, I want to drop my hands because it'll come back faster. If you hold your block, your stamina uh, comes back much slower. Counter right. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. Ooh. Winner of this surely will get a world title shot. See how I'm using my distance? Neither man really defending themselves. You really just want to get that distance like perfect. Some nice exchanges from both men in this rest. 
Oh, okay. This guy's mixing up the distance on me. When I throw that too, I like to lean back before I throw it. Makes it much faster. Sugar Ray Leonard has very strong twos. Could change everything in this battle. Nice exchange here from both men. Ooh, see, I use my defense to set up my counters. Oh, what a punch! This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good round. Good little round. One more big shot in there. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them. Keeping good stamina though. You always want to look out for that. You don't want to be dropping too much stamina. I like to set up those body shots with my defense where I go in and power one two to the body. Phrase second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can Looks like this change? guy's getting a little they bit can tired. Their they can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches Ooh. per round because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again. I want to bait him in to come towards me. You see how, like, I'm, I'm setting up my angles using my jab. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Ooh. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, he's getting hit. He's he getting hit. With that jab. I like to do this a lot and lean in and then lean out. It's a good bait. And when you're fighting, when you're fighting like an, like an outboxer, you want to bait. You just gotta be smarter than You gotta be like a little fager to pickpocket them. And you want to control distance. There would be some more action here. Very close See, when he starts to try to unload to those hooks, that's when I back out. And I can land those counters. I don't know who's up right now. Pretty dominant round there. See, I am losing a lot of health, though. I gotta watch that. There's the bell for round four. Let's come up by one round. That's fine. And he just missed with that left jab. A little bit laggy. Best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with See, boxing. See, there it is, controlling that well distance. You can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a Ooh, as soon as you it's a big body them, shot. This but when you throw crazy. those, you got to watch your stamina. I do gotta, I gotta remember though, my health is getting kind of low. So I don't want to be getting no slugfest. I want to hit and don't get hit. Especially after losing so much health. You want to you focus on the small things like that. Not just go out there and try and get the knockout. And... Because if you focus on the knockout, you're probably not going to get it. Like if you're trying too hard... You're probably not gonna get it. You need to box. This is a boxing game. Energy you know, you and can't just knock are out. Not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get him to come towards me, but this guy's. They want to get you there. They want you oh, there we go. Toe -to -toe to when he terror. thinks that's he's in his range to hit me, that's when it's nice. Because he'll start. He'll start just. And coming they towards so me. Angry, so frustrated because they can't work. 
So that's how I set him up to come towards me. Down big time on the move. I'm still losing a lot of health. Sometimes I don't know what it is. You just getting the, you know, getting the thing, and you just lose a lot of health in the match, and you just can't do anything about it. Sometimes, like once it started, it's you know, you're just gonna lose health. Watch the jab. Not sure what this guy's doing. In the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that power. Mm. He's doing a good job circling. But he's... There's some ways, like, there's some people that try to fight counter, but they, they just end up taking a bunch of shots. Figure out the combination to this safe. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. There we go. Now I'm getting him to come towards me. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? You always got to remember your base game plan when playing Sugar Ray Leonard. Like, you, you need them to come to you. Like, you can... You can get caught up in the in the game where you're just like, oh, you know, I'm trying to get this knockout. I was landing good shots. But you got to remember what what Sugar Ray Leonard is, outboxer, you know. So you got to fight. You got to fight the way your character is. This is the left uppercut. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Oh. Right, his round. Forward, he cannot... Still losing a lot of health though. There's the bell, there's the bell, there's the bell for round six. I'm keeping my stamina good. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated. Now we're gonna find out. Hmm. What I like doing is I like mixing in my uh, that left my hand. straights, those power straights. And he misses with that jab. Remember, don't stand and bang. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you that power that power might be this you or die that power might be the, the, the equalizer can they figure out the combination to this safe mm. caution being thrown to the wind mm. this guy's fighting close I like it I'm looking for open shots when I'm in here. You see how I'm, I got my block high? I'm looking for open shots. I'm looking for the body. I'm looking for what's open. Nice punch. Right now he's just falling into my counters. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This is my defense. Well, we're entering death. This is a slugfest. I think I'm up on scorecards though. Round seven, here we go. Yeah. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come I like setting up those left shit. hooks to the body too. Two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. 
like the power ones and and when you throw it you want to lean over here like this and it makes it faster than if you were just to throw it like if i lean over here and throw it it makes it faster because the way this game is set up is it's like like you can do stuff like that that's why leaning back over here is faster on the hook because if i if i throw that that uh that two my guy has to lean back anyway so if you do it beforehand it makes the punch faster and disguises it more Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time. And now I'm just, you get just figuring out the distance. The jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. And not throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. This one go to the judges. Oh, almost very had competitive it. round with ten seconds left. It's a close fight. But I'm landing those counters, as you can see. Those counters are very important with Sugar Ray Leonard. Keep your distance and keep those jabs. Because his distance keeper uh, trait, it makes it makes his jabs like twenty percent stronger. I want to say. Having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what. Ooh. Right now I'm looking for a body shot because he's just holding that high block. Showing exceptional chins, by the way. And when, when guys hold the high block like that, they usually forget about the body. He's got to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots. But come on, that leaves more opportunities for head shots. There we go, setting up those angles. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Tony. There's that, that body shot that I was looking for. Power. Someone's got the speed. Someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. It just depends on how... When they throw big, like, power. movements like that, both men in this you, can, you can just slip those real quick. You can just hold this block right here. Oh, oh. Both men step. Robinson hit hard, and he may go. be ready to go. Boom. Finish the body. Let's see. Probably get up. It's only the first knockdown. Not bad. I'm keeping my distance. Oh, he's still hurt. And as you can see, I maybe I'll I'll uh I'll slow it down later at the end of the video and I'll show. Oh, well. So there he goes. It was a pretty good fight. And it just showcases just how good Sugar Ray Leonard can be. And, like, shows all his strengths. And, yeah. Well, let's check out these stats. Let's, let's check out the, the fight stats. Looks like I had almost every round. You can see I landed a lot of those jabs, though. I was losing a lot of health. But. Yeah, and you can see I outlanded him on the counters. Which is very important with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. So, yeah. It's a good little match. Now that we're at the end of the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody watching. I hope this video helped in some way. And let me know if you want to see me do any specific fighters. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.